Play fake. Bethel throws on the move. And it's caught. Big yardage coming up. And this is Cobalt. Touchdown. Hayward is back there to knock it down. Ryan Allen to punt it. Benjamin circles. Benjamin in trouble. Oh, what a bad decision by Benjamin. Did he get out of the end zone? Now the official's going to talk about it. I don't think he did. Pocket collapse. Gets away from Barnes. Nelson throws it back oh, over his shoulder, and man. Jeff Luke almost had a pick. What is that? <laughs> what in the wide world of sports is that? Trying to keep it in third and 15 and not third and 25 there. Yeah, I'd rather my quarterback uh, go ahead and get rid of that ball early and don't or, or take the loss, but don't throw the ball over your shoulder now. We're all riding with you. <laughs> it was 98 Tyreek McCord who got there. He got away from Barnes initially, and then the linebacker McCord had him by the waist. And just, I mean, Escobar, had, did Escobar actually catch that? Yes, he did. He actually caught that on the sideline. Third and 16. Tailbacks in the backfield. 2007 on the fake, and it's intercepted. And that's Chandler Wooten who took that bask like push pass from Sam Loy. Tennessee in dire need of six and not three. Mariota. Mariota to the line of scrimmage, maybe across the line. It's a flex back to him for a touchdown for the moment. But was he across the line of scrimmage? Play. I think Revis bats the ball right back to Mariota. It's a live ball. It's a Quarterback touchdown. is behind the line, and he was in shotgun, so therefore he is an eligible receiver. It is a touchdown. <laughs> Very close. Dyer, the freshman, is wrestled down at the 46-yard line. Pleasant, and He's he gets up. back up. Dyer gets back up. Was he not on the ground? Did he stay on top of Pleasant? The Ducks are saying, wait a minute, he was down. But everybody is moving up there. Brent, I think he would have stopped running if it weren't for his own sideline. Dave Perry gave us the rule, and here we go. Following the review, the ruling on the field stands. Second down and 11. Uh oh, I just jinxed him. Doesn't matter. With or without a helmet, J.J. Watt will always put his fingerprints on a game, but as you see, a flag has been thrown. Loss of nine, first sack back as it stands now to the 42. Well, he is relentless. I mean, those feet never stop moving. He's a great leverage player that can bend and get, get underneath a big tackle. Hands, hands to the face, number 75. Offense, penalty is declined. We'll be out there in a very strange formation. Trying for two. Or will it be a drop kick, perhaps? Drop kick for the extra point. It is up and in. Can you believe that? <laughs> and what might be Doug Flutie's last professional football game. That is one point. And it's 25 to 20. Miami's lead cut down to five. That alone was the price of admission right here for these fans in New England. Last time a drop kick happened in the NFL, we were talking leather helmets, and they were taking trains and buses to games. That's a great job for an offense that's been shut down throughout this game to make plays when they had to. Now the drop kick by Dixon. It is fielded by... Rod Smith and the backup to Ezekiel Elliott, their own 33. He's done this before. He did it against Chicago. He did it against Kansas City. This was kind of a knuckler. It took that quick. Garantano keeping it and diving for the first down. He was one on one there with Zach Daw, who was a high school wrestling champ in the state of Utah two times, but he couldn't wrap up the quarterback that time and pin him. You can see right here, that's where the scrum is. Oh, it's Daw. There it is on the right. There he is, 99. Already two touchdowns for Brown. And they give it to him again. Fumble. And he's he fumbles the ball, and Luck is there to pick it up and go over the goal line. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Talk about.
about luck. Good punt. And Watt's going to let it go. We'll see if it checks up. It does. And it was touched at the 45 and that, and that is picked up. It's picked up by Watts. It's a live ball. Watts inside the 40. He did the step out. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Tulsa. Well, Bill Blankenship told us that he felt Trey Watt was one of the most instinctive, smart football players he's ever had. And he showed you why right there. Never giving up on that play. But can you believe it? They get the kick blocked. UCF didn't give up here. Going hard after the extra point. On first down, Rodgers is hit from behind. Ball is out. They're saying this play is live. They're waiting for somebody to do something. That's Boykin. He's going to go in for a touchdown. How about that? It was knocked out by Peppers. And Cleet Blakeman was letting them play through. Boykin got on top of it and finally took it in with his sideline, begging him to run. Let's take a look. That ball is out. You know, even he thought the play was over as he works back when the ball's on the ground and he just kind of recovers it and then thinks it, it's over and done with. But, you know, that's something that's preached upon at the lowest level at the 30 yard line of Cincinnati a rod takes back to throw a rod in the pocket wings the right side of yeah. the grab is yeah. by Jones breaks the tackle loses his helmet down the right sideline to the end zone touchdown James Jones hey Wayne that was fairly manly Delta O'Neill and Marvin White sandwiched him Popped the helmet that was, off his head. That was fairly manly. He James Jones. breaks the tackle and goes 30 yards for the first score of the night. Tone down the blitzing until they get it past the 40, 45 yard line. Mahomes connects it. It's Robinson for the second straight play. Out to the 45, a gain of 17. Look at the magic of the quarterback. Just Mahomes moving around, dancing, and then throws it like almost a no look. Hey, I guess it's not hard beating Auburn anymore. <laughs> oh, jeez. Harris will take it in the end zone. Whoa, wait a second. He just flipped it over there. Ahmad Harris just flipped the ball over, and Clemson's recovered it. Oh, my goodness. Denzel Johnson, I think, recovered this in the end zone for the touchdown. Oh, he was flipping it to the official like he thought he was down, and they were going to put it at the 25. Watch. Fair catches it after West. He, he knew he was wrong as soon as he Edward flipped it. in the slot to the left as a receiver across the middle. It's batted in the air. Joe Burrow to Joe Burrow. And now Burrow heading to the first down marker and then some. It's going to go as a burrow to burrow 16 yard pickup. He's too good to be lucky, but on this <laughs> one, he was lucky. Also, he's such an aware football player. As I said, his stats are amazing, but he actually plays better than his stats, and that's even hard to say. Malik Herring got a hand on it. Remember, Carson left the field early on injured, came back in after he was checked out, batted at the line of scrimmage, batted back and picked off. Ricocheting in! Wow! You know, watch Watts. Watts gets up deflected, and then Wilson, he's trying to knock it down. So he's trying to do what most quarterbacks do when the ball's coming back at him, knock it down, and he knocks it right to Harris. There's no foul in the play. The ruling play stands as a touchdown. But instead of knocking it down, he ends up having almost a volleyball-esque tap pass. But that's what quarterbacks are taught. When that ball is coming at him, they don't want to catch it. He's trying to knock it down. Willie to Smith. He'll score. Touchdown, Winnipeg. It's by Banks and the resilience paying off for Winnipeg. Well, this is a great... <laughs> Look at that catch. Well, it's like Drew Willie forced it in there. Forced it into his arms. Like Velcro. Well, I mean, Smith isn't even looking. looking. I can't believe that catch. Drew Willie just placed.
that right in his arm. Hey, Ma, look what I got. And that one's blocked by Boyd. Flips it around, trying to get it in someone's hands to take it the other way. And so no further damage on the blocked extra point, but still 31 to 10. On the play, on the previous play, we have an unusual ruling. The ball was blocked, caught, carried back into the end zone, and declared dead by the defense. That play results in a one-point safety. And folks, if you have never seen this before, here's another look at the play, and I'll tell you what I was going to tell you in a second. There's the block. Now retreating back into the end zone and the lateral, and then declared dead. That's a one-point safety. If you think you've never seen that before, it's the second time it's happened to me. And I'm glad Ron Sherry explained it because yep. I had it happen against Texas and Texas A&M maybe 10 years ago, and I have kept the ruling in my briefcase this After whole time. the review, the ruling on the field of a one-point safety is confirmed. Bouncing ball fielded to the 25. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, look at this. This is Dan Connolly, the right <laughs> guard. The right guard. Still going to the four-yard line. <laughs> Unfortunately for the Raiders, it'll be Matt McGloin as their quarterback. That one bounces. Oh, and the Bills goes to get it. Now Gillisley tracks it down in the end zone. A, you can't let it That's go. That's a touchdown. Yeah. What are the Bills doing? Doug Middleton falls on it for the Jets. Probably the easiest touchdown <laughs> he'll ever have. That's just a kind of a traditional onside kick right there, right? That's the way he, that's the way he draw it up. Yeah, there's no excuse. <laughs> there's absolutely no excuse for it. I mean, they tried to get to salvage something by letting the ball bounce into the end zone and then mishandle it once it got there. You got to tip your hat to the Jets. They hustled to get down there. It's, it takes a long, that's a long run to get there before somebody can fall on a loose ball. The Jets did it. Chipping his way forward as he crosses the 45 up to the 47. Caden Stearns with the tackle. Two timeouts left for West Virginia. Clock is a factor at this point, but they've got great field position and a veteran quarterback. They know they can quick strike at any moment. They're one of the best teams in the country when it comes to explosive plays. They came into this game tied for 13th in college football. And I don't think I've ever seen this happen. I've never seen that before in my life. That's Anthony Cook on the other side. Stuck at the bottom of the pile. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That's great. Oh, that's Josh Sills, the left guard. No malice there. No just, malice. Just a stuck shoe. Get your foot out of my face. <laughs> well, teams with all their timeouts. Renner. Tons of time. Man wide open. Caught at the 40-yard line. Eric Highsmith. Ball comes out. Still loose. Picked up and running the end zone by Bernard. Giovanni Bernard. Johnny on the spot. And the Tar Heels take the lead. We talk about this North Carolina offense. The Fed spread. A balanced attack, and then sometimes it just takes a good bounce. And Eric Ebron was a mismatch. He was a concern for this Duke defense. Going to take a shot here, maybe. Now the rush got to him. Flags are down. Might have holding. McCarron goes out of bounds unharmed. Run out of bounds by Sir Darius Bryant. Yeah, Lindsey, the new center, is the guy that uh, got called Holden. for the hold. Offense number 79. 10 yards for the this spot. First down. I think it's Kimdichi that's down, isn't it? No, it's not. It's C.J. Johnson again, and he's already had issues. He's holding his eye. It he might have like. gotten hit by the flag that was thrown. <laughs> he's got all kind of stuff going on. A spotter, Clint Dean, spotted that. There comes the flag right through the face mask. Oh, that is really weird. Car pump fakes now throwing deep to Jones along the sideline pumps back to make the catch ball comes out Jones picks it up 
at the 20. He loses it again. Ball is loose. And the Texans fall on it for a touchback. Now down at the one. What a wild play here in Oakland. Jones had two fumbles on the same play. One catch, two fumbles. So a big stop on third down, and now Barnhart. High hanging, spiraling punt, touchback. Barnhart could not pull it up short of the end zone. I think the way the returns have been going in this game, I'd just as soon, wait a minute, what's going on out here? They down the ball, this is gonna be a touchdown. That, that, that is one of the most unbelievable plays I've ever seen. They never downed the ball, it was sitting in the end zone, and the Rams picked it up and scored. <laughs> the PA man says apparently it's a touchdown for the Rams. I mean, as you had Bailey got, picked it up and ran it the entire length of the field. You had guys coming on the field, off the field. Everybody's looking around and nobody can believe it. 